did receive a email from the MTA about the B58 bus, um, and they suggested that the reroute will be Norman Avenue. Um, Excuse me, the 48 bus? The 48 bus. Okay. So uh, it will go, it'll make a right mm -hmm. on Bedford Avenue, make a left on Manhattan Avenue, right on Norman Avenue, onto Bridgewater, and then to Varick, and then the regular route. Um, so I, you know, I did have some questions for them. Uh, they did say that basically they're just waiting on the, you know, the construction date before that they do the rerouting. They'll send out notices to every, everyone, and also they will be posting signs up and putting on, on the buses. Um, so before we get to the questions, I just wanted to quickly ask if any of the committee members have any questions or the elected officials? I see Eileen Coles from the Congresswoman uh, Nydia Velasquez's office is here. Um, and Jerry, if anyone has any questions before we get. Okay, questions? <laughs> Hi, uh, Cody Utsman. I have two businesses on Nassau Avenue, right at Nassau and Jewel, and they're food based businesses. Um, I don't see how this project isn't going to completely shut me down. And uh, you, you can't operate food-based businesses without water. Uh, you know, health department is not going to is not going to allow that. I have machines that uh, coolers that are water cooled that uh, would have to be turned off, and food would spoil. Um, last summer, when you got when I don't know if it was the same same division, but we did the gas mains. My my sales versus that year versus the previous year at the same exact time difference in thousands of dollars per day, and. Um, we're a new business. I've invested in Nassau Avenue because I believe in this area and I believe in the community, but um, there's got to be some sort of give and take here, at least coming back to me and see how, how this is going to affect me. I'm, we're, very, we're one year old and two year old at, at, at the locations. And I'm just starting to see you know, the, the support of the neighborhood. And now you're saying that for the next 540 days, people won't be able to enter my store. I mean, last year was very, very difficult. Even though you do provide, you know, walkovers for, you know, the sidewalks and the sidewalks are under construction, it still prevents, people aren't going to come. They're not going to deal with coming to get a coffee or a sandwich when you've got jackhammers and stuff on, on the sidewalk. So the impact is, is, is a lot greater, not only to the people that own the property and these encroachments, but also to the business owners. And I don't think that's being a, a necessarily addressed fully here. Um, so I mean, is there anything set up for business owners to work with the <coughs> work with the city in some way to be compensated or to be helped during this period of time? Right. Well, just so to maybe I mean it's hard for us to give you a day by day you know breakdown of where we're going to be, but we're not going to be in front of your store for 540 days. Mm -hmm. How it works is the contractor will start at one end. At this point, I think he's looking to start at Manhattan, but regardless, we're going to start at two. He'll start at one end with one operation. He'll start with maybe the distribution water main. Yep. I mean, he'll work his way block by block. Uh, he may or may not have another crew following any time, but what will happen is that on your block, we'll be there for maybe a week or two. I'm very familiar. I mean, I have, I have businesses on Franklin Avenue as well, and we did the same exact project in 2006, 2007. So I'm very familiar with how, with how it happens. Okay. So, we're aware of the impacts. We know yeah. this is, and I'm not going to come here and say that, I mean, one of the things we do this, well, certainly Marie and I, yeah. this is what we do. We come to the community, explain what's happening. We try to work with people. That's why we have people like Greg. TDC um, is very aware of the impact. It's, it's a hardship in the sense that we know that it disrupts your day-to-day -day operations. One of the things that we try to tell people is that at the end of the day, which I know is not easy for you to understand, understand, not understand, but to at least picture because you need to go through the hardship, is that we're reconstructing this roadway, we're putting in new pipes, you said that you invested in NASA, we're investing in NASA now, which mm -hmm. is that we're putting in this infrastructure so that you will be able to have another 50 years or however long you want to stay on, on NASA Avenue. Um, one of the things is, yes, water shutdowns, unless you're on a corner and the you know, you're a corner building and you get a feed from a side street that doesn't fall within the bound, you know, you will need to take a shutdown. I mean, 99% of the work that we do, 97% of the shutdowns that we have to have, you know, people have to take them. I mean, there's very few <laughs> situations where we put the pipe
pipe in, and in one hour where we switch it from an old pipe to a new pipe, it doesn't work that way. There's no space for us to put the pipe in, dry is what they call it. Uh, so most times we have to excavate, shut it down, take the old pipe out, put the new pipe in. We will try to work with everybody, like I said, if, if the contractor is able to, if, if we can say, okay, you, you, I don't know how, if your, your business is 20, it's 24 seven or it's five days a week. No, it's just there's certain things that other government agencies won't allow me to do without water. I understand. And you yes, know, I you're making it so We're aware of that. Yeah. And unfortunately, there's going to probably be a day where you're going to have to shut your business down. Now, shut your business down in terms of, you're saying that you, know, you can't meet the requirements of the Department of Health. You know, therefore, there are other things maybe that you can do. I mean, we'll work with you. Greg will work with you. Ms. Wibokama will work through options that can or may be able to, to, to uh, we'll be able to implement. Okay. I'm not saying, but... Again, like I said, we try to be as honest with people as up front and say that, you know, this is not easy, just the same way that you would renovate your house or your kitchen, that you probably won't have access to your kitchen while they come in and put in a new sink or put in a new stove or whatever it is that they have. So this is, I mean, it's more short term there. This is a little bit longer. I mean, we're trying to maintain it. We'll try to work with you. We're not here to put anybody out of business. Um, but currently, there's nothing set up okay, for any so sort of fund, any well, sort of hardship, any sort of, there's nothing set up right now. As now. DC, yeah. there is a department, small business services, and we work with them, and we can certainly have them come out to you. I'll be honest with you, they'll be honest with you too, there is no grant to help people, there's no law and wild construction done. Okay. Uh, there are emergency grants, mm -hmm. if, you know, kind of the center or pipe were to break and the basement would get flooded, you could probably apply for it, but hopefully there won't be any of these projects project, but for the vast majority, it's unfortunately, there's no system set up where during construction you get, uh, you apply for a loan or a tax-free break or something like that. Sorry. Um, my concern is the alternate side of the street parking, if that can yeah. be lifted. Yes. While it's being done, because that's going to kill everybody. Yes. Yeah. I have a funeral home on the corner of McGinnis and Nassau. Right, we went last year. Uh, yeah. I'm not having my families go out right, right, outside right. like... Right, you and know, so for something like that, garbage, they're entitled to go out. And, the and we have the movie industry you know? coming in and yeah. taking away and parking taking too. Over everything. Everything. It's, it's just ridiculous. Well, we they in in and sure. But they have to suspend yes. parking. There's no yeah. question about it. They no, have to. So they they got to find a way. Yes. What, what, we, what we've done in the past is we'll work with the community board, and what you would put in writing, and Jerry and Maria are familiar with this, they've done it in the past, is that you would put in writing to DOT a request to have certain streets have their alternate side. DOS. Well, you sent it to, to well, uh, uh, Jerry and Marie would write it. Well, to DOT and DOS. DOT mm -hmm. is really the one who would establish the, uh, they would consult with the sanitation. And TEA. And even somehow, even to like get the people that have been parking their bikes all over no. the place, it's hard enough to run a business mm -hmm. without having people attaching their bicycles all over your, your poles. Because now, with all the construction, people are going to be tripping over those bikes, and now I'm going to get sued. That's right. Well, we'll talk to the we'll with DOT on that. That's not something directly under our control. But yeah, we'll but I don't know, like, if some kind of general signs could be put up, please don't affix your bikes to this, you know, to the city property, which is a law in itself. We can raise them with DOT. You know, to reiterate those things. But certainly, like, you know, funeral, obviously, that's...